what's up guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing a amazon shift i might do some doordash and uber eats later on in the day we'll see we'll see how it goes we picked up a three hour shift and i noticed like if if you're starting brand new the three hours are the easiest you get the least amount of packages um compared to the four and five hours we've done all three and the four and five hours are definitely way more packages so in this video i'm going to show you how we organize our packages that was the biggest thing i found the that i was having trouble with we've been really trying to find a system that really works and what we did yesterday seemed to work out so well so i'm gonna do it again today show you guys like how i'm doing it and show you like the drop-offs if we have any trouble well, i'll fill you guys in with what's going on um and the uh the main thing i'm kind of worried about he just ran in to go get the goods um the main thing i don't like about amazon is that you have no idea how many packages you're getting you have no idea where you are heading we've been to like all five orders like I already did we've went to five different places so I talked more about that in my last video um, so if you're interested in like how my first five shifts went and what I wish I knew before I did them go watch that video after this one let's get the day started where's that sharpie there it is so this is the warehouse I seem to always pick up at um, they have like the best blocks I've watched a million Amazon videos and it seems that every warehouse is completely different. Some have you drive inside um, and like everyone loads up together and then leaves together. Other ones, um, like this one, you go in and then you push the cart out to your car and you fill it up and then like you bring the cart back. So every warehouse seems to be completely different. I've only picked up at this one. This is our sixth time, our sixth block. So I've only picked up at this one. So I can only say what goes on at this one. And then if you have returns, you go into the other door, like with all your returns, set them down on the table, you push something in your phone, and then that's that's it. All right, he's coming out. So moment of truth of where we're going. So we scan each of them first as we take them out, and then we re-scan them and it tells us what stop number it is and I just write that number on them and then we organize them that way. So after we scan them all, you then go into your itinerary, you click on the list and then there is a little circle right there that he just pushed and it brings up the camera to scan the QR code that is on each package. Then it shows you what stop number that is. I write it on there and then I will organize them from you know first stop to the last stop we used to go off of the yellow sticker that you see there because it has a, a code on it but i find that this method works way easier some people said that they use the sticker some people said that they go by the address but this is what works for us and if you get the same number on multiple packages that just means those two go to the same spots and I want to point out right here how he's trying to take a picture. The camera is very sensitive with that QR code. So you might have to cover it and then uncover it to take the picture and then cover it again. You want to make the drop off process the easiest way you can. So take your time while you're doing this. Yeah, so we're at stop one. The warehouse is considered stop one. So your first one is going to be stop two. We just write the numbers um, and then we organize it by the numbers. I have a bin up here. So this is one through 10. And then we have another bin in the back that we put 10 through, I think we have 18, 18 packages. So let's head to Tampa to our first drop off. It took us 19 miles to get to our first drop off right here. He's pushing the unlock button. There's the other one. Oh, the other one open. 
This one does have a gate code. Apparently we pulled up to the wrong one and the other one opened for us. All right, this next one says, this delivery is late. Call the customer to see if they still want this delivery. The first couple times we've seen that, we would call and either they don't answer or somebody an answered and said, and of course I want it, it's already two days late. Like, why are we holding his package? So after all that happened, like we just deliver it. We don't call at all. All right, so I'm gonna stop and use the bathroom and then you could fill this up with all the packages back there because we got the one more left and then all that back there. Right on yep. the west. All right, so we are done with our shift, our Amazon Flex block. <laughs> I keep forgetting what it's called. Um, we stopped at Walmart, we got the kids from school because Monday's early release day, and then I did some laundry, hung out with the kids, and I'm back at it. It is three o'clock, I have a couple hours, and I'm gonna do some Uber Eats and DoorDash to show it with you guys, add all my earnings into this one video. But I want to go over what I just did with Amazon because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. Amazon is pretty new to my channel. So, the all right, I'm going to be getting orders as I go through this. None of them have been worth accepting, so I'm going to decline that order. Um, so, the block we did, it was $7.45 to $10.45, and it was $54, which is in the, the lower end of the orders that we usually take usually it's twenty dollars or more this was the only one available this morning so we grabbed it we decided to just do it it's money it's like guaranteed that money and tomorrow we're going to be doing our first amazon fresh delivery so make sure you're subscribed for that don't miss it it's our first one so you we could show you what it's like um so now i'm gonna do a couple Uber Eats and DoorDash orders. If I could get some really good, like high paying ones for low miles, bust them out real quick, I could I could probably meet my $100 goal today. Um, like I said, I have a couple hours, so whenever a good order comes in, I'll let you guys know. All right, I just got an order at Subway. It is the one with the drive through. You gotta like swoop through the drive through and tell them you're with DoorDash. Um, it was $8.25. I only did a couple orders because it was really slow for a Monday, oddly slow for a Monday, and I decided to just call it a day and get home so I could go do my plans with my kids. So I did a couple orders. Here are my earnings for the day, Amazon Flex, and I did two orders on DoorDash. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of my work day. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Um, my next video is going to be Amazon Fresh. Fresh. Stay tuned for that. Um, there's Amazon Flex, Amazon Prime, and Amazon Fresh. So, you know, I want to try them all. I get them all confused. Fresh is the one I'm going to do. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.